All right, guys, welcome back to yet another Guilty Gear Limited Summon. Today we have Elfelt and her artifact, her damn limited artifact, which I probably won't get because I never get them. So let's talk about our artifact first. The first and only artifact in the game, and of course it's limited, that has a defense break on it. Only 35, a 30% 30 chance. I'm assuming 45 at plus 15 and 60 at max. In PvP, I think it's kind of unreliable, but if you have a ranger that turn cycles really fast like Cerise, might still be very powerful. In Wyvern 13, I think this is going to be a god tier artifact. Like, say you put it on a Cerise or even a Furious or something, and they turn cycle fast, even with a 60% chance, it's not too far off from TG 75%. You can have a secondary defense breaker. Hell, you could even put it on SSP and add her as a defense breaker. So I think this would be a very, very powerful PvE artifact for sure. Elfelt herself, uh, she seems fun. I don't think she's a must-have. Like, um, you guys know my stance on limited heroes. Always get them because you never know how the meta changes and you don't want to miss them and not even have the opportunity. But realistically, if she was not a limited hero and I didn't pull on every hero, I would consider skipping this one. So, I mean, don't feel too bad if you don't get her. I think her base speed is pretty high, but, I mean, her kit seems kind of weird. She, like, decreased defenses the enemy, but her multipliers are all, like, one. She doesn't do a whole lot of damage. So she's kind of like a utility hero. Um, so you might want to build her the same way you would build something like a Cerise, which would mean she doesn't do that much damage which makes sense because her multipliers are low. So I don't know, I'd have to experiment her. But regardless, we're gonna try and pull for her, of course. And mainly I want her artifact as well. We have our 632 bookmarks here. Let's get started. And hopefully this is not a disaster and I get at least one copy of the limited artifact. So I got a bunch of Bikens, I got none of Dizzy's. If I don't pity Elfelt and I get both her and the artifact, I might even try a few on Dizzy's to try and get that limited artifact. Oh my god! <laughs> of course I get Elfelt in like two pulls. Holy crap. Uh, <laughs> this is, so guys, this is the exact same thing that happened to me with Dizzy. I pulled Dizzy in like five and I did more than pity. I did like another 140 and I could not get her artifact. Oh my lord. So here's... My first Elfelt. Oh god, I really, really hate that there is no pity for limited artifacts. I think it's one of the biggest travesties in this game, and I really hope Smilegate does something about it because it is so frustrating to miss limited artifacts. I, I, I am still salty. I say it every video about missing Rhinegars. Ooh, I thought that was going to be it. Kawazu, he sucks. I actually don't even know if he sucks. I just assume that he sucks because I have literally never ever seen him in anything. No arena defense, not RTA, not in Guild Wars. I've never seen him once, and to be honest, I don't even know what he does. Oh, God. Oh, come on. Please. Please. Limited artifact. Nope. Armin, have a million of those. God, I really want this artifact, actually, because I think it's going to make speed wyvern teams really crazy, even though it's not fully reliable. But 60% means that basically in two turns you should get one defense break. So here we go. This is looking a lot like Dizzy's, where... Oh, come on, please, please. Yes! Yes! Thank God! Thank freaking God. Okay, so here's your artifact. I'm not going to try to get multiple. If it becomes a god tier artifact, I'm just going to keep buying bottles of knowledge and upgrade it that way. Here we go. We discussed this one before. 30% chance to decrease defense. This was a very, very lucky session. So I think I got Elfelt in like three pulls. So really I did like 25 summons. Um, and I got both her and the limited artifact. There's a lot of pulling I have to do. I still need to get freaking Ray. Uh, Ray I think is way better than Elfelt is. But of course I had to pull her because she's limited. 
I think what I'm going to do now and try and abuse this Luxac period, I'm going to go down to 300 bookmarks. And I'm going to go back to this Dizzy banner and try and get this freaking limited artifact because I'm a completionist. I used to play a lot of Final Fantasies and I was the guy who, if you missed something, I would reload a save file from like 10 hours before and redo everything because I have like OCD and mentally it annoyed me that I did not have it. So that's kind of like my mindset. Even though I don't need this artifact, I just it just bothers me that I don't have it. Yes! Holy, holy crap! Yes! Yes! If you guys watch my Dizzy video, you know that like 140 summons deep, I did not have it. This was a crazy lucky session. So I got um, Elfelt, Dizzy Limited Artifact, the Elfelt Limited Artifact, all in about 200 bookmarks, so I think that's 40 pulls. Oh man, we have a free Covenant summon too. All right, that one wasn't lucky. And you know what? Just because this session was so bestial, we're gonna do two Moonlights too, because who knows like how, I don't know, I'm just, I'm on a roll right now. You gotta, you gotta ride the heater. Any, anyone play blackjack? You gotta ride the heaters, man. All right, so we have two ML pulls here. My ML pulls are usually disaster. I don't even care if I get two Elsons here because the rest of my luck was so good today. All right, here we go. We're just gonna do three cancels. There we go, we get a shiny. What do we have today? All right, new ML4, Sinful Angelica. No, freaking A. coli. I keep getting dupes. All right, let's get our um, Parado now. Gunther. You know, I don't have him a triple S. Uh, I don't want him a triple S, but it is something. So the Moonlight summons nothing special, but damn, I got my Elf out. I got my limited artifacts. And uh, now I can look at my artifact journal and I don't have those depressing blank spots. Actually, I guess they're still blank because they're probably in my storage, but there we go. We got Miss Confile and uh, wherever the heck Necronundine is, Necronundine. So this was a, a beast session for sure. I was definitely very, very lucky today. Uh, I wish you guys the same amount of luck, and really I needed to save those bookmarks because, guys, if you're F2P, and you're really short on bookmarks, like I always say prioritize limited summons first, but I think Ray is going to be like a game changer. He's basically a better DJ Basar. I mean, granted, DJ Basar has the CR push, but honestly, it's not that reliable because he's not super, super fast. Um, I think Ray, however, with a team-wide cleanse and immunity, it's going to be a game changer for RTA. So if you're short on bookmarks, you might have to really consider which one you want. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. I wish you guys the best of luck. I might have sucked up all the luck for everybody today, but uh, I am super happy even with those crappy ML pulls. And uh, again, good luck and thanks for watching. Peace out, guys.